Welcome students. Today we are going to learn that how digestion happen in grass eating animals. This is under chapter 2 of CBSE standard 7 syllabus. So we have often seen that when cow, buffalo, all these grass eating animals are sitting quietly, peacefully, they are chewing something. Even though we have not seen them, that they have gulped something or they have ate something, they are continuously chewing. Why this will happen? So this is associated with their digestion process. So these are three steps and under this we are going to understand what is rumination, what is the process of rumination and why these grass eating animals are termed as ruminants. So for both of this question that what is the process of rumination and why grass eating animals are termed as ruminants, the answer will remain same. These three steps are the answer for these two questions. So first point is grass eating animals quickly swallow the grass and store it in a part of the stomach is called rumen. So in rumen they are storing whatever they are eating. They will quickly chew it and they will store it in a rumen. Now in rumen what will happen? The food will get partially digested. And then this partially digested food, we termed it as curd. Now this curd will return to mouth in small portion and animals will chew it. So this whole process that first they will chew it quickly and gulp it. It will get stored in rooming. Then under rooming, in rooming the food will get partially digested. And this partially digested food we termed as a curd. Now later... This curd will return to mouth in a small portion and animals will chew it. This whole process is termed as rumination and this grass eating animals are following the process of rumination so they are termed as ruminants. Now how the cellulose digestion happen in ruminants and other grass eating animals? Under ruminants, we are considering only two animals, they are cow and buffaloes. Other grass eating animals like horses and rabbits have different digestion process. So first let us see that how ruminants are digesting cellulose. Now cellulose is a type of carbohydrate. In ruminants what will happen that bacteria present in rumin helps in digestion of the cellulose. We have earlier seen that when they are gulping their food, this food will go to the rumin and there it will get partially digested and it is termed as curd. So in rumin the bacteria will present and this bacteria will partially digest this cellulose and it will help in digestion of the cellulose. Many animals including humans cannot digest cellulose because we do not have this special kind of bacteria. Now animals like horses and rabbits have large sac like structure and that is known as cecum. In ruminants, the rumen will be there. In horses and rabbits, they have a sac like structure which is in between the esophagus and small intestine and it is known as cecum. So in ruminants, rumen is there and in horses and rabbit, cecum is there. The cellulose of the food will get digested by the action of certain bacteria. Now these animals also have the bacteria present in cecum which will help in digestion of the cellulose. In human and in many other animals, this cellulose digesting bacteria are absent. So that's why we cannot digest cellulose but ruminants and these other animals can digest cellulose because of the presence of this special bacteria which will digest the cellulose in their digestion process.